Instagram Threads is here. The new app by Instagram that is here to challenge to take over Twitter. Well, will it win? Will it take over Twitter? In this video, we're going to talk about the ins and outs of everything you need to know about Threads before you post. I've had a lot of questions leading up to this, so we're going to answer them all in this video. My name is Michelle Gifford. I'm a brand and marketing strategist. Make sure you're subscribed and to the end because I'm actually going to help you write your first thread post. So what is this app? This is a text-based app. It looks a lot like Twitter, and that's on purpose, because it is trying to go head-to-head -head with Twitter. Recently, Twitter has gone through so many changes with Elon Musk buying the app and making all sorts of restrictions and adding a verified blue check and charging people. And most recently, he has had some restrictions on how many posts you can see per day. It's like 600 if you're not verified or 6,000 if you are verified. And so the Twitter universe is being shook up. And in response to that, Instagram Meta has come out with Threads, which is a text-based app. Again, it looks just like Twitter, but there are some key differences. My first reaction to Threads is that it is super fun and it's super easy to grow right now. And so I'm seeing a lot of creators come over to Threads really quickly and start using the app right off. First thing you know, need to know before you jump on the Threads app that it is like Twitter, but there are some differences. Um, again, there's no rate limit. It's connected to Instagram. And this is actually really why it's going to be much more successful than any of the other apps that are hitting right now. It's because it, they have made it so easy for Instagram users to go from Instagram to threads. And so you can literally type in the search bar, your Instagram app, you can type threads. And then when you see that, you'll get a little red ticket where you can click and it will It'll take you to the app store where you can download threads. It automatically connects your information from Instagram to threads. So you already has your bio, it already has your links and it already has your handle. The cool thing too, is I'm a verified member of Instagram. And so it actually, the blue check goes with it over to threads. And so Instagram has made it very easy for Instagram users to get to threads. And so that's why we're seeing so many people join so quickly. If you want a tutorial walkthrough of everything you need to know about like what's actually where things are with threads, then I have this video that watch right now. It'll show you how to use it. But there are some things that that Threads does not have right now, but Adam Masseri has told us that they are coming and that we just need to be patient. So there is no follower feed, there are no hashtags, so you can't search by hashtags, there are no DMs. So you can see that that makes it a little bit harder to use, know that they're working on it, that it's coming, and so I'm not too stressed about it. I like that they're getting it in the hands of people so that they can use it, they can react to it, and see what is working for them. The next thing you need to know is what can you post on threads? Well, you can post text, obviously, that's kind of the basis for the app, and it, you have 500 character limit, which is much more than what Twitter has. You can also post pictures, you can post videos, and you can post clickable links. You also need to know that there is an algorithm. And so because of that, you might show up on threads and you might have random content that you see and you're like, I don't follow these people. And that's because threads is using an algorithm to try to understand what kind of content that you want to see. This is much like the Instagram algorithm that we're used to is it responds. It takes in data from the content that you react to. So what are you liking? What are you commenting on? What are you, what are you reposting? Those kind of actions are signaling to threads what kind of content you want to see going forward. So I had people from my coaching group and people from Instagram say, my feed is like so wacky right now. And so what do I do? How do you content from people you follow as well as people that you don't follow? So what are you supposed to do? And you need to just start being very intentional about how you're interacting and engaging on threads. So if you have people that you follow on Instagram that you want to see more content from them and people like them, then intentionally look them up, look them up on threads and follow them and start interacting and engaging on their content. And, and make sure that if you see content that isn't stuff that you want to see going forward, you don't interact and engage with it because that will be able to really start curating a feed that you want to see. Another thing you need to know is that if you have multiple Instagram accounts that you want to sign up for multiple threads, thread accounts, then you need to sign out of your thread account before you try to go create a new thread account. Um, this is how Instagram used to be years and years ago, and they have done a great job at making it easier for us to go from um, uh, your business account to your personal account, but we're just not there yet with threads. So if, so if you want to have more than one thread account, you're going to have to sign in and sign out. Next thing you need to know is that threads is connected to Instagram. And so it's very easy for you to sign up 
Um, once you sign up, your thread count will actually go in your Instagram bio and someone can click there and it will take them straight to threads. Now, if you don't want that to show, then you can click and you'll see there's another option that you can um, actually turn that off. But the cool thing about it is it actually is your thread count of when you, when you signed up. So you can know exactly which user number you were when you signed up. So if you create a post on the threads, you can a couple clicks, repost it directly to, in, to your Instagram feed or to your stories. And now, because I this just got added and I think it's pretty funny, now you can actually add it to your Twitter account. So you can post from threads to Twitter in one click. Once you're connected to Instagram, when you sign up through Instagram, it allows you to decide if you want to follow all of the people that you follow on Instagram and whether they, they get account now or later. So this is a pretty cool feature and it's why people are able to grow so quickly is that when people come over, they are clicking that box and, and following the same people that they're following on Instagram. So it's like bringing your followers over to a new platform. So in 13 hours, I went from 100 followers on threads to over 6,000. And that's just because people are coming from Instagram and finding me over there. Let's talk about what you should post on threads. So Zuckerberg came out and he said that the whole goal with threads is to start a conversation. Because that's a goal, we need to do those things that will start conversations. So we should start asking questions at getting to know our audience. This is a really fun time because it's so new and it's so new for everyone. And so our posts have a lot less pressure because no one's been here, no one's the expert yet. And so you can start experimenting and see which types of posts are doing better than others. What first post you should post, I recommend downloading the app and spending 30 minutes over there to get a feel for what kind of content is working over on threads. What is the energy that you feel? What accounts are doing um, something that you want to do that you can kind of replicate in your own way? And what kind of questions are getting the best responses? So you don't have to get into the account and immediately post, but spend some time there to really understand what's going on and think about how you want to show up there. That said, don't let over analysis cripple you. Spend some time there and then just post, try stuff out, create content and see which one works for you. Um, again, this is the best time to join because everyone's trying to figure out for themselves. Here are some easy ideas for you to get started on knowing what your first post should be. The easiest one that I would do is think of your niche. Who are the people that you are looking to find on threads? I would call them out and see if you can find them over on threads. So just, just type out, hey, calling all and then enter your niche. Um, let's introduce ourselves and make friends. Tell me where you're from, what you do, and what your favorite thing about enter your niche is. Okay. That's your first prompt. Try that out and see what kind of response you get. Next thing to think about, are there any industry events or news that you could add your own thoughts and dialogue to, and then ask for questions from your audience about what people think about it. This is what Twitter does, right? They have these big news issues that people are talking about and they start those conversations over on Twitter. Now this is going to be, we're going to bring that over here, but we're going to be nicer. Okay. We're all, we're going to, let's all commit to be nicer over on threads. Okay. We're all a family. We're all trying our best. So let's, uh, let's bring that kind of energy <laughs> to threads. The idea is to post a GIF or a GIF if you're that kind of person. Um, to do that, you're going to need to download a GIF keyboard so that you can, um, search for and find and post those things that are very easy to post and will get a lot of interaction and engagement. And the next thing you need to know is social media rewards early adopters, whether it's a new app or new features, when you start using these new things, you get rewarded. And one of there's a couple of reasons why this happens is because they love content creators who commit to coming and showing up. So if you start posting content and people are interacting and engaging with it, it's telling it that it is that your content is good content and they will send people there. And you have so much less competition than any other app when it's new, right? You show up, there's 30 million on, there's 30 millions on thread 16 hours after it launches. But think about how many people are on Instagram. There's a lot Being against a lot less people when it's a new platform. The other thing is, is that it is the wild west right now. They're threads experts because it hasn't been around that long. So come on to threads and try stuff out. This is a great way to test topics out, start conversations, get to know your audience 
and start learning and connecting and doing more. The future of social media and marketing is in connection and conversations and community. And so download the app, start right now, come find me. I will give you tips along the way and make sure that you're subscribed and we will see you next time.